are on my channel. What do you do on your YouTube channel? Um, she does I... makeup tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is full face makeup right now. So tell us something about yourself. Do you appreciate my natural look of full face makeup? This is it. This is my nat my natural look of full face makeup. Ashley, where are you from? I'm from all over. Where's that? If I don't located? care about you, I say I'm from Sacramento. What if you care about me? If I care about you, I tell you I was in a military family and I moved every two years. This is going on Instagram. I mean, on Facebook. Come on, man. Be be private. I don't know why I blocked the camera like they can't hear the audio. Um, <laughs> you, you don't care about me. You you're from Sacramento. You want to tell the whole world where you're from? Who gives a shit? I don't know. What's your last name? What's your social? <laughs> What's your blood type? Can I get a picture of your ID? My blood type is 1900. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. 1900 cheers. Is that official? It's a new, very, very, very rare blood type. Oh, dude, did you? Okay. Vampire connoisseur. Whoa. Vape life. Vampire connoisseur. She just, she did that. She did that, guys. Uh, all four of you that will watch this video. <clears throat> you're, you're on my YouTube channel, getting your lip pierced with Bodhi. Uh, that's weird. Remember? Yeah, I do remember. That was the day I broke up with Johanna. Oh. Uh, well, that didn't work out then. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? It's fine. I said, that sucks. Why would you do that? Uh, we needed a break. It's fine. Nah. No, but that was that day. Remember? I couldn't stop crying when I got my lip pierced and I didn't cry anymore. Yeah, you did a little bit of pain in your life. Mm-hmm. Yo. I'm curious about what you said when I couldn't hear you. Are you, are you curious of what I said? Yeah, you are. Donkey show, because I like You show. ain't gonna get it. Oh, there should still be some in the bin. This motherfucker wants some donkey show. Yeah. Move back. Move back a little. Right. Fred. Oh. Issa. Yes. Say hi to the world. Hello, world. What do you do for a living, Issa? <laughs> uh, slave in the life. vape shop. What vape shop do you slave at? Smoke and Mirrors Vapor Lounge. How do you like California. it? Oh, oh shit. Third Street. Plug. 733 Street. Plug. <laughs> All the plugs. I am not sponsored to say that. You see, you got a nice smile, man. Tell about your little back hugging education. My back hugging education? Yeah. It's creepy. I back know. huggers are creepy. Low, Low back, back huggers. huggers. Low back huggers. I told you the, the graph, the back graph. I yeah. told you. Uh, Ashley, here, here, here. To Ashley, there was an explanation of back graph. Yeah. And low back hugging is cringeworthy, and people who engage in such behavior should be. Uh, or what? I was gonna I was gonna say imprisoned or removed from society. I'm a low back hugger. Sign in their yard. Stay off my grass. I'm a low back hugger. There should be a registry. Yeah. For low back I'm saying. They I'm have to a, paint I'm, their doors orange. Yeah. So everyone knows yeah. they're a low back hugger. Like rapers. Yes. Stay off my grass. Rapers? Also, I'm a raper. Ra Sign like a rapist? Yard. Yeah. Rapers? Also, I'm a low that's back the, hugger. That's the, get a, get away that's the from verb me. version of rapist. Rapers. A raper. They're rapers. That's, God, a, a, that's a, a continuous raper. Not like a rapist means you did it one time. A raper... Is what they all should be called because you don't do that one time. That's like, oh my god, that's like your steeds. We're, we're crossing into non PC land here. <laughs> oh, I love it. So they'll sign in. You got to sign in on YouTube, right? To get the profane the shit. Yeah. yeah, sign in. <laughs> What's really going sign on? In. If you sign, sign in, in, you'll see boobies. I'm going to ask the question. I don't have those to give. Ashley, Ashley. Yes. How do you feel about our current president? I feel like if that wall gets built, I better be on the other fucking side of it. Okay, all right. There we go. Issa, how do you feel about I that feel wall? Like oh, I on, made she's... a goddamn appointment yeah, next yeah. week to get my ID changed because I don't know if I'm going to have to pay out the ass to get a new one. I'm only three and a half years in and it's good for six, so I'm going to get a new one, J-I-C, you know? Because... You don't, that motherfucker don't give a fuck about my body or, oh, I'm sorry, so... 
abstinence is key, right? Because the separation of church and state is bullshit, right? Right. So Christians right. run this country, and contraceptives or any kind of birth control. I don't know is, that Trump has sin. Trump claimed to be Christian. Uh, no, but he did sign an anti-abortion act yeah. day one. Yeah, yeah. Day one executive order anti-abortion act. He hasn't defunded Planned Parenthood just yet, but he's about to. I got private insurance, so Obamacare doesn't really affect me. But I read. Yeah. So fuck all of that. And so basically the story they're telling is that I don't I shouldn't use contraceptives. Or I, and so abstinence is my option. Otherwise, I have unprotected sex, get pregnant, am forced to have a child and they will not help me raise it. That is that is my that is my option now. Like I don't ha there's these old rich white men making decisions about my fucking uterus that I just going to go along with pleasantly, happily, without saying shit. No. Just don't be a crybaby. Grab my pussy, see what happens. What? <laughs> Fuck me. See what happens. Issa, how do you feel about our president? Uh, I know you're a little a little less liberal, right? A little bit. A little bit less liberal. A little bit. You're a gun guy. You know I am. Um you're you're like wearing that metal militia shit. That goes on YouTube. You're practically now. a good old white boy. <laughs> wait, wait, even if you're Persian. Even if you're Persian. Not Persian. What are you? I'm Palestinian. What the fuck ever, bro? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm uneducated in the, the difference. <laughs> Palestine, Pakistan, it all sounds. I'm one of them sand people. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. I can't say that because that's offensive. I mean, I'm black, but I won't go there. Um, so, how do you feel about the registry from Muslims, man? Um, honestly, I think that uh, in this day and age, in the state that we're in, uh, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's unnecessary, but understandable Understandable with the threat of, well, with the influx of Muslim, or Muslim immigrants coming to this country with no vetting process. Um, what about the vetting process we have? Uh, from what I understand, there isn't much of one. I mean, I can tell you that my brother-in-law is an immigrant from um, the Netherlands. Okay. And it took him years to become a citizen, and he went through a thorough vetting process. Okay. Okay. So that's. Not, I mean, it's not as easy as like television makes it out to be, or even. No, it is uh, a longer process. Media, my parents were immigrants. You know? Yeah. So there is a long. A little bit. There is a long process in becoming. A I'm not. I'm not citizen. arguing with you for the right. No, I'm I, just, no, I understand. I'm, that. I'm saying there is a vetting process. Um, but for the refugees coming in, right. they're not becoming citizens. Right, We're just taking in refugees. And in that type of process, it's not a lengthy vetting uh, uh, process is what they're doing. Sure. So they're just trying to find a way to, I don't know, check out these people who are coming into this country. The fear of mass shootings, terrorist organizations, right. it shakes people. So I could see why that's uh, Because the last few were immigrants. No, they were homegrown. Okay. No, Say that again? Exactly. Um, they, they were, were fucking home... The, the fucking Orlando nightclub shooting, that was a homegrown motherfucker. Maybe we need to clean up our own house before we start hating on everybody else. Hey, yo. It's brown hate is what it is. It's fucking white hate. I wouldn't go that far. Really? Because I would. Let me say it again. It's white fucking hate. I love the opposition here. I love both of these people, for the record. Like... Love them and appreciate that they are the growing fond of one another, despite sure. the differences. But that I think that's kind of the point. I think vetting is important. Sure, check their backgrounds. Make sure. But how? How the fuck? How the? How, what do they know? Like how? How do they know? Like I could be meeting someone in a coffee shop talking about. See now that scares me about saying out loud that I could be meeting someone in a coffee shop talking about becoming a member of ISIS. Like I could do that and they don't know, but now I'm saying it on social media and there's gonna be feds jumping out of my bushes and shit. Like I don't know. Now you're 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 good. I'm Look pretty, at you. I'm, you're good. I'm naturally blonde. Let's just say that. Okay, I'm. It's fine. But <laughs> I'm a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, 
Norwegian princess. Norwegian. It's fine. I, I'm not necessarily proud to be American, but I'm grateful to be American quite often. Grateful that I was born here. I wish. But you weren't born here. Oh, I wasn't. Well, I was born on an Air Force base. I was born to hard Americans, like solid veteran American flag toting motherfuckers. And they, yeah. We're gonna have yeah. to revisit this. This is an interesting dynamic here. So, the East, oh my God, this is a podcast. <laughs> Right? Dude, you guys should. You know what? Because we get along, but we have different views. That's but, my point, right? It's totally but fine. But it's not. To there's views. no hate there. Yeah. And that's new, because usually the, the opposition is usually my family that is like old white money that is like, don't take my money, fuck okay. brown people. I um, want my guns. Get I those thugs when they mean nigger out of my town. That's it's what that is. Down. This is Sorry, where I come from. I don't know yeah. how I escaped. She just dropped a hard R. I mean, in case you missed that. But. That's exactly the word that I meant because that's exactly the family that I come from. And I don't know how I narrowly escaped that style of thinking or what, but that's not where I landed. I landed on the wrong side of the tracks. Thank the universe. But this is three. Yeah, it's all love. I fuck whoever you. Well, fuck I got whoever. a question. I got a question. Yeah. Do you know Tommy Lauren? No. Ah, oh, I wish you did. I'd love to hear how you feel about it. She's a um, incredibly conservative, very vocal. Yes, I do. Figure. Yes, I do. Super hot. Dirty blonde girl. Oh my god. Uh, I would my first husband. My first ex-husband, Trevor Noah, has interviewed her a few times, yeah, and yeah. she's out of her fucking mind. Listen, idiot. You know what? Though? She said. She's she fucking said out loud on national television that the Black Lives Matter movement is comparable to the KKK. I Are remember. I think. I think. Fucking kidding. I, I think the context I, is a little different. I don't, uh, I don't remember. No, I heard the whole conversation, and I understand. She made sense, but she's fucking retarded. She that made word is sense. offensive to some people. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God. There was no nip, was there? No, there totally was. I don't give a fuck. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because what she was saying about the Black, Life, Black Lives Matter movement was completely ridiculous. She was isolating a few people right, and that said kill Whitey, all that shit. Sure, those those right. those few people of a, an entire movement can say one thing, but that doesn't mean you get to compare the entire movement to the fucking KKK that still burn crosses and march in the fucking South. You can't do that. Tom, do you remember what Punch was? No, I don't. No, but so here's my issue with that whole thing. Mm. Trevor Noah, to me, in the interviews was a little. Ooh. Of course he was. Aggressive. He's the host of a liberal leftist. political talk show. Right, but if you're going to invite. And he's invite, black, he's South African. But, right, but he's multiracial. But if you're going to invite someone on the show who has. Who clearly ratings, has. Ratings, bro. I mean, Seriously. I, I know, but I'm trying to look past that, right? Like you and if I you if I were to if I had a show and I invited Tommy Lauren on the show, I would yeah. want to hear what she had to say. I wouldn't his just want to make my audience his laugh. His audience loves him. I know. To make her look like a fucking fool. But that's the problem. If but, they were okay, in his listen. living room, it might go differently. Listen, that's, but that's his job. Right, but that's He's making yeah. money. And that's that's the problem. That's what I'm saying. Like it should watch a different show. If you're if you're in a media if you're in an if you're in the position to influence the masses with, with what they assume naturally is intelligent, researched opinion, right? You should respect that space. They're with respect because that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I mean, but as it's, a, kind, it's his responsibility. I would say, you know? as a journalist, that's his job it's his to, responsibility. Be, really? to be well, objective, serious. but yeah. he's not a journalist. He's a talk show host, a, politi- a, a prime time political talk show host. All right. A liberal talk show at that. Like, people that watch Fox News are not the people that watch The Daily Show. The Daily Show are people like me that want to see her made a fool of because she's a fucking idiot. No, we gotta spread love, not hate, dude. That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking to her like that. All right. I'm not sure that would be my response. Listen, we're, we're reaching the cutoff for her. the video, but thank you. Sure. I love you. 
nipple and all. No, we're not.